नमस्ते गुरुकुलियंस हाव यू होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर हेल्दी फिट एंड फाइन नाउ गेट रेडी फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ऑफ दिस बुक प्लीज कैरी दिस बुक इन योर हैंड फ्लैमिंग गो राइट चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वी हैड स्टार्टेड डीप वाटर रिटर्न बाय विलियम और डगलस सो प्लीज कैरी दिस बुक्स इन योर हैंड by having some pen or pencil in order to underline the difficult words and you are to write down the difficult words in your notepads please uh, maintain your written homework as well i am to check it out regularly and you would have to capture the image and send it to me on the whatsapp group clear on which you have in which you have been uh, already edit right so let me start it deep water right deep water written by william o douglas right as i have depicted in my previous video if you have not seen please pay a visit to my previous one video and in which you will come to know about the explanation of the title as well as the writer deep water is is a short excerpt e x c e r p t excerpt means it is a short part taken from the one of the wonderful books written by william or douglas of men and mountains clear of men and mountains this is the name of the book students and in this short part William O Douglas beautifully he has given the description about the two childhood fears which he had encountered when he was a small kid clear the first experience he had described when he was merely at the age of 3 or 4 years old and uh, he used to go to california and on the sea beach along with his father one day he was clinging back to his father clinging back means he was riding on the back of his father and his father was paddling on the sea beach he was moving with his feet on the sea beach suddenly a strong wave it came from the side and the boy he fell down the water swept over his body he almost almost had lost his breath but his father was laughing till that time since that day the writer william o douglas he started having the panic the aversion of water he was complete completely fear stricken right for the next 7 to 8 years he never paid a visit to any of the water spots whether it is a river whether it is cape whether it is sea beach or something else right so after coming at the age of 11 years old when he started going to school in the school he encountered some boys who told him about their experiences that they had enjoyed in the swimming pool clear so we are human beings that's why so that he was a human being and he was a small boy like a student like a child if you imagine your age is maximum 16 17 if you go flashback when you were 10 years old 11 years old clear 9 years old 8 years old so many expectation you might be having which you wanted to fulfill your desire clear so even same william douglas was having the desire he wanted to fulfill his intense desire of having a swimming in ymca pool clear ymca pool right this pool was located on the bank of yakima river right yakima river it was considered one of the treacherous river one of the fast rivers like we are having the ganga the brahmaputra in our country same in america yakima river it is one of the fastest rivers of america he started insisting before his mother and started seeking the permission to join it clear but uh, his mother she warned him no need to pay a visit to the place which was completely dangerous right and she started telling about the stories of so many people those were good swimmers even they had lost their lives by drowning into the river water clear and she started telling beta you are a small boy how would you manage then the writer he told his mother that mother 
I will not enter in Yakima River. I simply will enter in YMCA pool. Clear? He said that river was dangerous, but the pool was safe. And the permission was given, permission was granted. And uh, since that day, he started paying a visit to YMCA pool. A swimming costume was purchased for him by wearing swimming costume on his skinny body. Skinny body means that he was very thin. And he started entering into the pool. As in the previous video, I had given the description of the pool that on one side it, it, it had a shallow uh, depth, means up to the depth of up to the feet uh, depth of uh, two to three feet maximum. Clear. On the other end, it had a handsome depth up to nine feet. Clear. So in this portion where the water level was up to two or three feet, he entered into the pool and by holding the railing on the edge of the swimming pool in the company of some other boys he started enjoying he started jumping and uh, he was overall overall he was enjoying clear so one day the second incident takes place over here one day the writer he kept sitting on the swimming pool alone this was the habit of swimming uh, sorry the writer that he never entered into the pool uh, without having the company of any other boys clear so he was waiting for any companion who would come nearby to him and then he could be able to get entered inside clear so he sat on the edge on the edge of it edge means kinara so there when he was sitting uh, and kept waiting for some other companion suddenly there was a physical storm of 18 years old boy like you all of you are there because after coming in the age of 16 17 80 the growth of uh, our physical body usually takes place so there was a handsome and physically strong chap strong boy he paid a visit over there and uh, just like a comedy just like uh, he started doing kidding with the boy and he said that he oh skinny oh thin boy oh patlu what are you doing here why don't you go inside then he said oh no no brother i don't know how to swim but he didn't listen to the boy and he picked the boy and threw him and tossed him means he threw him into the nine feet depth the boy got panic and fear stricken his journey started taking place towards the bottom and when he was going he made a plan actually he did not lose his courage he made a plan he thought i would jump by collecting my willpower by summoning my willpower and confidence once my feet would touch the bottom ja mere pair the bottom ko chhuenge then i would jump and would come on the surface like a cork cork actually it's a material it's like a thermocol it is found in the swimming pools if you have paid a visit over there if you are having that thermocol you cannot be drowned you cannot sink inside clear so if you release it from the bottom it will come like a bullet so like a bullet he wanted to come but the things went wrong against the boy clear and uh, his journey started taking place towards the bottom slowly slowly he started moving when he reached towards the bottom and his feet touched the bottom almost almost he had lost his breath then he collected his willpower and tried to jump but very slowly very slowly he came on the surface in this way clear first of all his head came then his forehead came then his eyes then his nose when his mouth was about to come then he opened his mouth to take some breath but in place of breath he engulfed some water and started choking his throat <coughs> in this way and again his journey started taking place back to the bottom once again he was moving his hands and legs to find out some ladders to find out some ropes or any helping material that he could save his life clear but he was failed his second journey took place towards the bottom this time almost almost he had lost his breath his heart beat was increasing very high thread head was throbbing in this way okay head was throbbing and his legs were paralyzed legs were not moving clear but still he was making a plan ki he knew very well that his end was near but he would try a last last thing last time he would try himself to save his life when he went when he reached to the bottom almost almost his body had given up uh, the confidence and even then he tried to jump but very slowly he came on the surface clear what happened after that up to here we have already started open the page number 27 from beginning and then strangely there was a light second time when he was coming up i was coming out of the awful yellow water awful means strange 
I was coming out. Suddenly I was coming out. My head came, then forehead came, then eyes came, then nose, then mouth, clear. Throughout the yellowish water and there was a light, the sunlight I started looking. I was coming out of the yellowish water. At least my eyes were, my eyes could see the sunlight. My nose was almost to means almost my nose had come out of the water. Then I started down a third time. The third journey took place. I told you boys, first time he went inside then came up. Second time he went, clear he came up. And the third time his journey took place down to the bottom. I sucked for air. Suck means he, decide, he started taking some breath. Suck for air. Suck for air means try to take breath. B R E A T H. He tried to take breath. Clear? So, and uh, but got water. When he was trying to take some breath but in this way but water entered into his throat and he it chopped again <coughs> and he started coughing the yellowish light was going out now this time the yellowish light was going out all then all effort ceased ceased means stopped c e a s e d ceased means stopped right my all efforts had been stopped now now this time i have given up my hope even my legs felt limp. Limp means like paralyzed. They were not, it was not working. And a blackness swept over my brain. Whenever the person is going to die. Clear? So it is said just before the death. The darkness swept over before his eyes. The same kind of darkness. Same kind of andhera swept before the eyes of the writer William O. Douglas. Clear? It wiped out tear, sorry, fear, sorry. And the fear occurred in my whole body. It, sorry, I'm sorry. It, sorry, the fear had already gone. Now he was already fear stricken. Sorry, wiped out means it removed. Wiped out means removed. It removed my fear from my brain and heart and body. Right now, I'm no more fear. And there were no more panic. I was not panic. It was quiet and peaceful. I was relaxing like a quiet person, like a peaceful person. Nothing to be afraid of. No I too afraid. If I'm going to die, it means simply I will accept my death. That's all. This is nice. He was saying to be drowsy. Drowsy means I'll see lazy. D R O W S Y. Drowsy means lazy. He decided himself to become drowsy, to become lazy and it was good for him and uh, so to go to sleep means he had decided himself to close his eyes, no need to jump, why to jump? If I have given up my hopes, it means I must relax, too tired to jump because my body had got too much exhausted that I could not jump. It's nice to be carried gently, means the body must be carried gently, clear, in a polite way. To float along in space, I started rem uh, remembering in my imagination that I was floating in the space. I am floating in this way. Tender arms around me, tender means soft, tender, T-E-N-D-E-R, tender means soft. He started imagining. Soft arms like mother, they are holding me, grasping me, my body, and I was relaxed. So, and uh, so tender arms like my mother's, my mother, she was having such kind of feelings, and I started imagining that death was like my second mother. Now, I must go to sleep, I must go into the lap of my second mother, that is called death. I must go to sleep. And I closed my eyes and got relaxed. And the writer went in the stage of unconsciousness. Behosh ho gaya. I crossed to oblivion and the curtain of life fell. Means, I crossed the oblivion means I had done whatever I had abided by. Whatever it was expected at that time. I have given up my hopes and the curtain of life fell down. Means, I knew that I was about to die. 
the curtain of my life it has been fallen down now i was entering in a, in another world after death so the next i remember now boy was unconscious behosh tha the next i remember now the writer he remembers that i was lying on my stomach main pet ke bal leta hu outside on the pool beside the pool beside means along with along with the pool i was lying through my stomach the chap chap means boy clear c h a p chap means the boy okay the chap that threw me inside who had tossed me inside jisne mujhe andar feka tha the boy he was what are what he was saying he was pressurizing my back and uh, but i was only fooling means someone said someone somebody was means there was a gathering of some people over there after looking my condition when i was panic but i was only fooling the kid nearly died means the this was like a joke with the boy this was like such kind of kidding aisa bada mazak kiya gaya iske sath the boy was almost dead bachcha mari gaya tha samjho means but luckily he was safe the kid the kid nearly died be all right now but now the situation under control let's carry him to the locker room if you have paid a visit to some swimming pools so students you might have seen some locker rooms are there where you can keep your clothes and other things clear so they had taken him towards the locker room several hours later maybe after 2 3 4 hours i walked home i came in the position that i could go back to my home i was weak i was very much weak and trembling i was trembling kaapna in this way i shook and cried i was shaking my body moving and cried when i lay on my bed because the fear it was seizing my brain it had already seized my mind i couldn't eat that night i didn't eat anything for days a hunting haunting fear haunting means horrified h a u n t i n g very much horrified clear bahut drowna such kind of haunting fear occurred to my mind i couldn't understand what to do the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly in the knees and sick to my stomach the slightest exertion was coming little bit moment slight moment was there in my uh it was making me upset embarrassed i could not move properly making me wobbly wobbly means ladkhadana okay moving with trembling wobbly means uh walking with tremble okay trembling was there so in my knees i could not stand because knees were wobbling in this way and sick to my stomach that's why my stomach was paining inside i never went back to the pool i dared not to go back to ymca pool i feared water definitely the more fear it had occurred it had seized my heart and mind i avoided it i left it whenever i could a few years later but after two and three years when i came to know the waters of the cascades cascades means waterfall clear waters the word meaning the word has been used over here waters waters means suppose whenever some rivers they are merging each other or some seas they are merging with each other some oceans are merging each other clear so that is called waters so that is the boundary of water so i came to know about the cascades i wanted to get into them i just wanted again the curiosity developed in my heart and mind people are going to enjoy in the cascade even why can't i i must pay a visit to there to have an enjoyment and whenever i did whenever i tried my level best whether i was wading the tip sorry titan or bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the god rocks these are some names are given some rivers name are given some lakes uh, warm lakes garam jhile the names are given of the god rocks the terror when i used to pay the visit to some lakes some rivers the terror the fear automatically it usually it used to seize my mind 
मेरे माइंड को झंझकचोर के रख देता था आई कुड नॉट गेट एंटर्ड इन टू द वॉटर सच काइंड ऑफ हॉरीफाइड वॉन्टेड फियर आई वॉज हैविंग इन माई माइंड इट यूज टू कम बैक इट वुड कम बैक वेन आई सो द वॉटर लेवल इट वुड टेक द पोजेशन ऑफ मी कंप्लीटली पोजेशन मीन्स अधिकार ओके द राइट इट हैड ऑक्युपाइड माई बॉडी माई ब्रेन माई माई um feelings my passion my obsession everything everything had completely been seized by terror so my legs would become paralyzed when i entered into the water my legs stopped working they were looking like paralyzed so i see horror would grab my heart i see horror means suppose if you were entering into the icy water especially in winter season when temperature is coming minus degree celsius so what kind of feelings you are having without clothes clear just it is just like that is some thousands of needles are being being pinched in your body hazaron suiyan aapke shir mein chubho di gayi ho that kind of terror that kind of pain i used to have when i entered into the water clear i see water would grab my heart this handicap stayed with me this critical situation continued with me as the years rolled by years after years had been passed away but this fear did not leave me is dar ne mujhe nahi choda in canoes on main lakes fishing for land locked salmon one day he paid a visit to canoes in main lakes he was going for fishing over there it is a water spot okay bass fishing in new hampshire new hampshire it is the name of the city he paid a visit to the warm lake over there in order to catch some fishes trout fishing on the uh, <clears throat> best ships and metolius in oregon fishing for salmon or the columbia these kind of different kind of breeds have been defined for the fishing at bumping lake in cascades so these fishes i could find out at bumping lake in cascades in waterfall whenever i went whenever i paid a visit to cascade i paid a visit to lake i went to there for fishing okay so the haunting fear of water followed me means i could not do fishing properly main machli bhi dhang se pakad nahi sakta tha the fishing i could not do properly because of the haunting fear of water as i dipped my legs into the water i started trembling whether it is warm lake whether it is river whether it is sea water whether it is swimming pool or anything else clear water is water means he started having a haunting fear of water clear all of you so it ruined my ruin means barbaad kar dena it destroyed right R U I N sorry N E D means destroy. It destroyed my fishing trips. Whenever with friends, with my family members or acquaintances, I made a plan to go for fishing. But this fear, this haunting fear of water, it had completely ruined. It had completely destroyed my that trip of water. I could not catch the fishes. deprived me of the joy of canoeing means i could not do canoeing okay boating and swimming i could not do rafting i could not do boating i could not do swimming i could not enter into water i could not even see water the pani dekh mujhe dar lagne laga tha means that kind of haunting fear i was having i used every way i knew to overcome this fear i tried my level best every efforts in order to overcome overcome means to get a victory jeetna means i read down here overcome means to win i didn't know how to overcome my fear i didn't know how to win my fear of water but it held me firmly in its grip it held me kaske pakda hua tha in its grip grip means in its fist in this way jakad mein tha main iski i was in the trap i was in the net of i was trapped into the net of the fear finally one october i decided to get an instructor finally after a huge introspection after huge thinking over it i had finalized an instructor on 1 october clear and learn to swim he was a paid companion he was a paid instructor i offered him some money then he got ready to teach me how to swim in the water clear i went to a pool 
and practiced five days a week means in week seven days are there saturday sunday he never went monday to friday he started going to there for learning an hour each day daily one hour daily one hour he practiced and five days a week monday to thursday right the instructor put a belt around me means round my waist meri kamar ke charo or a belt had been tied ek belt bandhi the instructor had tied a belt round me a rope attached to the belt there was a rope rassi it was attached to the to the belt okay and went through a pulley in the swimming pool there was a pulley as i told you in the summarization there was a pulley it clear it is it was like a small pool you can say right there was a small pulley in between and after crossing it so that ran on a overhead cable means after crossing overhead cable means uh, the rope was going like overhead cable to the pulley after crossing pulley the other corner of the rope was in the hand of the instructor in, in hindi i tell you instructor ne yahan rassi bandhi aur dusra corner pulley ko cross karke uske hath mein tha clear so he was having the other corner in his hand then he held on the end of the rope and we went back and forth back and forth across the pool hour after hour day after day week after week he guided me he instructed me to get entered into the pool means uh, minutes after minutes passed away hour after hour passed away day after day passed away weeks after weeks passed away clear on each trip across the pool a bit of panic seized me every time when i got entered into the pool the old terror of water it seized my brain it's like a psychological psychological problem he was having right it's very dangerous each time the instructor relaxed ho and he relaxed his hold on the rope and i went under he was releasing the rope wo dhili chhod dara sigo and i entered into the water under water some of the old terror when i entered into the depth of water the old fear of water it returned back and my legs frozen my legs stopped working into water it was 3 months before the tension began to slack it means 3 months had been passed away to remove this kind of tension regularly after a deep practicing after 3 months what happened then he taught me to put my face under the water and exhale then he taught me how to exhale and how to inhale how to put the uh, the head in under the water and release the breathing and just raise the head out of water and take breathing means when students when he dipped his hand under the water and he started releasing his breathing when he was taking its head out of the water he started taking breath in this way if you were a perfect swimmer you might have known about it ki whenever if you are taking your head under the water you would have to release your breathing whenever you are taking it outside you have to take it your breath in this way means inhale and exhale inhale and exhale this process he started learning under the practice after the practicing of 3 months and after practicing he came in the position that he would be able to move to the next step clear so i hope that for today itself it's sufficient for all of you uh, you might have enjoyed this session today itself and it's my humble request to each and every one please kindly send your queries on the whatsapp group in which you have already been added otherwise means i will not give you a complete assessment of 10 plus 2 it's not a game of children my dear boys i'm not getting the queries of anyone clear i will conduct a test on my behalf if you are not getting the marks as per my expectation then assessment will not be given to all of you so please kindly do your written work and this study as well as and uh, stay home stay safe thank you so much once again have a nice day namaskar